Today, we're going to be talking watermelons. Now, you may have seen some of my previous videos where I look at, try out, and review various kitchen gadgets. I don't know if you're the same, but I love kitchen gadgets, and I like to find out how well they work. Now, the thing about watermelon is they're a very big fruit, and sometimes I need to use a couple of them for a video to get all the shots I need. Oh, do you remember this gadget? This thing is supposed to take slices of fruit clean out of the skin, giving you these nice big pieces of melon. It does take a bit of practice to get right. And do you remember this windmill cutting gadget I reviewed recently? This thing is really cool and gives us these lovely chunky melon cubes. You may remember one of my earlier videos where I took half a melon and I sliced it lengthways, then again across like this, to give us these really cool melon sticks which you just pull out. Perfect for a party. And you may remember the video where I chop off the top of a melon, then used this pineapple cutting tool to remove the fruit. This thing is really cool. You just sit it on top, then turn the handle, and watch as it screws itself down into the fruit. It's really designed for pineapples, but I thought I'd try it out with melon. When you're at the bottom, you can just lift it out and pull out a huge plug of melon. Pretty cool, huh? You can remove the handle and use the slicer it comes with to chop it into pieces. Whoops! But you get these lovely bite-sized pieces of fruit. You can see how it leaves a core behind, which would be the tough part of the pineapple. And in my previous video, I cleaned out the skin and turned it into a drinks keg. But as you can see, if I'm using a couple of melons to demonstrate a gadget, I can end up with a lot of fruit. So, what do I do with it all? Well, I certainly don't waste any. You can, of course, put some into a container and store it in the fridge for a day or two. It's great for snacking on, or maybe having with your breakfast, or make a fruit salad. I just covered this bowl up and put it in the fridge too. As I'm filming, I usually eat quite a bit of it as I go. It just smells and tastes so good. And the other thing I do is I make a smoothie. I clean out any used skin and fill up the blender. For this one, I snapped the core out and scooped some more out too. Don't worry about the seeds. Then I take a slice of lemon, remove any pips, and add that to the blender too. I add some fresh mint, and it's ready to blend. Once you've given it a whirl, you might find you've only got half a jug. So if you like, you can add some more fruit and give it another blend. You can let it settle for a few minutes, and it's ready to pour. I like to serve mine with a small sprig of mint, and a slice of melon pushed onto the glass. It's pretty healthy, and it tastes absolutely delicious. 
And another fun thing to do is turn the smoothie into ice lollies. These moulds are really good. They clip into a base to stop them from falling over, and you get six all together. Make sure they're firmly in place. And I decanted some of the smoothie into a smaller jug to make it easier to pour. Then fill up the moulds. If you like, you can fill some three quarters full. Then add a couple of slices of fruit into the mould. Clip the tops on. And put them into the freezer. The next day, you'll have these amazing watermelon lollies. Pretty cool, huh? If you want to buy any of the gadgets featured in this video or the lollipop mould, there's a link in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.